yeah so because I'm cutting out a lot of parts and I'll start here uh, I got a lot of part maybe like six minutes and a half hour from the beginning of the game all stuff that I skipped through so this is will be the real start of uh, Lena route day two in the football field we lost against her in the tournament and we talked to her twice uh, once but this is the first time we will have something special with her I want to get away how could I ever lose in the first round there was no excuse for me the sport ground seemed to be the best place to go to the uh, to go uh, to go to be alone in this moment who will think about playing soccer in the evening? I sat down on the bench near the bench and starting to think about what had happened. Suddenly from the volleyball field said uh, through a hearing sound that seemed like me some rubbish uh, whispering. Turning I saw someone desperately swanning his hand. Who guessed too? My my sunshine was Lena. She was throwing the shutluck up in the air and attempted to strike it with the receipt. However, to be really, really honest, she shot at Bidman. I was just uh, watching for a while, but then decided to go up to her. I went around the volleyball court and get inside that she could see me. Nina was as uh, timid as a, a deer. So I'd rather not uh, repeat a private mistake. Oh, this is the first time I see you on this school. Hi! She glanced at me immediately, hid her choir, and shut her behind her back. Uh, you like a badminton? Not really. I see you are not really getting it. Maybe you want someone else? To tell the truth, I was not very good at badminton, but just like any other child, I used to play it from time to time. Uh, let me show you. Thank you. She blushed. I want to join the badminton team, but I uh, don't see it happen really. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even try today. But she looked up to me. I never have any luck at cards, but seemed like I was on fire today, so I thought it could be the same with Minton. <laughs> After this word, I realized that uh, losing to Lena is doubly upsetting. I wouldn't uh, never think of you uh, as uh, being so keen on sport. She blushed again. Uh, excuse me. Come on, let me show you. I took the required throw a shutter lock up to the air and struck it with such strength that I flew over the fence and got lost among the trees. Ugh, you so bad at this. Oh, I'm sorry. Wow, I didn't expect that from myself. Uh, it's hormones, I understand. Never mind. I thought it was the last one. The last one? Let's get it, let's go and get it. Uh, we better not. There is in the forest. What in there, a goblin? Come on, and how far Seymour can throw this? I laughed out loud. Maybe. It seemed like I was the only one joking around. There's no one there to be afraid of. Come on. Well, if you are with me. We went out the sport ground and started to inspire the trees. All of the sudden, oh, okay, this is creepy. Where you come from? All of the sudden, the scratch of the owl brushed the light. Oh, boy. Even the owl, look at the owl. Ooh. Lena got so scared uh, that uh, she sees me with both hands giving me something like a hug. This strong grab was a bit awkward. To feel a girl body 
and it's warm so close to me. By the way, Lena, you're so fast at this. Even uh, Sylvia takes so long time to give us uh, some close up like that. Until the end, she was like open to sex, but uh, now you, you're so horny, huh? I was filled with tenderness. I had a deep desire to protect her and to guard her from anyone, even if it's only an owl or another nightmare. By the way, look at this owl, it's so adorable, it's like a Pokemon or something. My only wish was to let this uh, embarrassment last forever. However, all good things must come to an end sooner or later. After a while, I realized that it was an owl who was screeching the bench next to us. It was holding our uh, Shatlock uh, title. Uh, is that what you were scared of? Uh huh. Take a look, it isn't scary at all. Lena, look out uh, from behind my back. You're right, not scary at all. It's actually adorable. Is that Pokemon? Uh, what is Pokemon? It's not invented yet, but it will be cool. Simon, hey, what? What's, wait a second. Gently gets out her hug and come closer to the owl. At first, it seemed that I get uh, frightened and fly away, dropping the shitlock. But the owl was still perishing there. I succeed in grasping the shuttlock and carefully taking it from the bird. Hey, look, it's almost done. Uh, would you like to bit it? Maybe uh, some other time. I handed uh, the shuttlock uh, to Lena. Thank you. And smile gently. I, I have to go. Good luck at uh, badminton. Lena smile again and hurry away uh, to the camp. How sweet can a girl get? For the first time today, I finally felt how tired I was. Oh. So this is was a small thing about Lena. So, with who your dinner? Hmm. Sorry, but I promised Lena. Of course, help Lena. Sorry, but I promised Lena. I sure that Lena wouldn't mind if I sat next to her. All done for a second. I give her so many voice. All done for. Um, uh, what voice I give you? Hold on, hold on for a second. Sorry, maybe later. I gotta lose my sieve while I grab uh, the corner of the canteen. Zinia was shouting sound in my direction, but I tried to ignore her. Hi, good morning. Having heard of the Barney shouting, Lena had been stealing yells at me for a while. Oh, what did you morning? Uh, strangely enough, she didn't uh, blush but uh, smile instead. Uh, would you mind if I join you? I'll get my meal and be back in no time. Yes, sure. In a minute, I was already sitting in front of her with a simple set of uh, b blade on tri uh, bore two poached egg, two pieces of uh, wheat bread, uh, boiled uh, sausage, and a glass of kombut, which I never heard about it, but this game teach me a lot of, about kombut and other things. Made of unknown fruits and berry. Ah, have a nice meal. Thanks! Uh, I was trying to eat as uh, neatly as I could. No kambung smearing at the food or spilling the kambut over myself. It seemed that eating like a human and not like a hog was not uh, that uh, hard of all. As usual, Nina remained silent, which uh, means I should start the conversation. Uh, going to the dance tonight? Probably. She was uh, silent for a while. Hmm. 
And you? I don't know yet. So I didn't want to go there at all. I didn't like dance parties since my school days. Oh, school days. School days are awful. Worst enemy. Very good. Uh, I didn't play the game. Maybe I will play school days one day here if I find it in English. Is it in Steam? Why so? Uh, what do you mean? My man was uh, still far away in my school times. Why don't you want to go? I didn't say I didn't. I don't want to go. Okay then. But if you invite me, Lena turned red and looked away. Um, I I don't really. Sorry, just kidding. I get confused. I better not choke like that. Fine. Lena said indifferently and focused on her food, while her face turned even more red. Why well, I'm stuck on this dance as if I was having nothing else to talk about. But wait, is there actually anything? Uh, by the way, maybe you know what uh, Zanya want to ask me? Huh? I mean, when I just come in, she wanted something from me. I don't know. I see. The conversation reached a dead end, so I tried to seem fully focused on my meal. Uh, Lena finished her breakfast first. I should go see you later. Then see you. I was finishing uh, chewing on the sausage which uh, tastes like a, a twisted uh, beer cable. Uh, I wonder if they have uh, internet access here. I guess not. A pioneer sitting at the next table noticed me talking to myself and stared to me. I smiled and waved to him in return. After uh, such a friendly gesture, he, for some reason, felt the canteen quiet without finishing his uh, breakfast. Is he the guy from uh, the same route? Hi again. Lena uh, emerged from behind the nurse back. It seemed strange that I hadn't noticed her until now. Come, come here after dinner. I have expended everything to Elena. She will tell you what to do. Strange, she seemed more spirited during lunch. Hmm. So, help Lena. No, help Lena. Okay, I'll come. Uh, you know, I'll guess. Uh, uh, yeah? Nice. Then how true Bainier should answer. What is this? Uh, should I get take a look? Except Alicia Oper, looking for answers. So... Both like uh, been taken before and this is like an Alicia offer. Yes, Alicia, no. Oh, that wasn't really... So what's the answer here? Uh, run away, stay with Union and help. Looking for answer. Hmm. At the dance party, uh, he agreed to help. So this would not be effective. One more individual dance will completely ruin my pride. I started to think about the patient's excuse to leave. I was just a moment to depart there. I said, Oh, Lena! Oh! So, yeah. Go to the dance party, go with Alicia. And.
So yeah, I think I have to score more than four with uh, Sylvia. Score more with Juliana, and we go to the beach. Yes. I started to think about approaching excuse to leave. I was looking for a moment to do so, and then suddenly, no. she was uh, slowly heading my way. Maybe we should go. Maybe we should go. Uh, we have to. I was so immersed in my thought that I didn't really get what uh, she meant. To the infirmary, uh, what about the dancing? But if you want to stay here and dance... I thought she was going to dance. Lena had stood inside a whole event. No, I was. Uh, let's go. At least I won't have to stand here like a shy nerd. Seriously, trying to concern myself in the corner wasn't uh, very pleasant. A bull in the china shop will be more agile than me in the dancing club. I didn't have slight interest in dancing in the first place. So we will not dance? Oh, uh, well, shall we go to the infirmary? Lena brought me out from my thoughts. We'd be just standing near to the canteen for some time? Uh, yes, sure, thank you. What for? I just looked at me and surprising. Well, for getting me out of there, I shouldn't have uh, told her that uh, dancing is not my thing. It is, you know, so boring there. Seemed to me you don't like dancing. There was no trace of uh, sarcasm in her truth, uh, truthful even child face. Uh, seemed like she really doesn't understand. Yes, don't like it at all, I'm not into it. Me too. No, no one ever invite me to dance. Lena blushed and started to go as usual. Strange. What's well, strange? Well, that uh, no one ever invite you. Uh, you think so? <laughs> Again, she looked at me with an expression of surprise and lack of understanding. I got uh, confused and couldn't find what to say in return uh, right away. Yes, certainly. If I like dancing, I would have invited you for sure. Thanks. We didn't say a word for the rest of the way. Lena obviously felt so confused by my awkward compliment, and I just didn't know what topic to choose for conversation. It was completely dark by the time and the gloomy building of the infirmary, covered in the night mist, looked strongly like a haunted house. I felt a strong desire to turn around and walk away without making any noise. I threw a quick glance at Lena and noticed that uh, she looked like usual, shy, modest, and certain but not in any way scared. It just made me even more uncomfortable. Uh, it can't be that uh, she is uh, not scared while I... Suddenly an owl hooted nearby and I shivered. Lena seemed either to not to hear it, not uh, pay attention to it, or just not to be scared by it at all. I hardly could uh, believe the third option, but I didn't want to ask her about it, giving away my own fear. I entered the infirmary and found a switch in the dark. The Infirmary of Love Will the nurse come later? She won't come. Okay, she won't come, understood. Uh, wait a second. What uh, do you mean me she won't come? Oh, I see. Uh, it is not uh, that I am afraid of being alone with Lena. Indoors. At night. With no one around. Only in movies does something happen under such circumstances. Come on. Hormones. Don't you understand hormones? It is just uh, that I am with Lena and not with Juliana or Sylvia. 
and it seriously changed my attitude toward things happening. There are the boxes. She pointed at the messy stack of boxes. There was about a dozen of them. It will take much more than 10 minutes of work. I put one of the boxes on the table before me and started to take out its contents. Uh, there was uh, bandages, lot of little bag of bandages. Here, take this. Uh, Lena gave me a piece of paper. There were some fields and quickly realized that I should put uh, the name in the left. The description on the middle, if there are, is one, the, qu uh, the quantity of the right field. It's not a database, but it'll do. The work started in full swing. Senor! What? I looked at Lena. She started at me for a couple of moments, seemingly making up her mind to do or to say something, but then lowered her gaze again. No, never mind. It was physically hard for me to just sit uh, without saying a word. However, I didn't dare to speak first, not only because I couldn't think of a good topic uh, for conversation, but that I was just uh, feeling shy. This girl could easily be embarrassed by anything. Simeon? Yes? You are counting them all over again? Indeed, I had started to take out and put into the database the bandage I had already counted. Oh, sorry. She didn't answer. Hey, where are you from? I mean, where did you come from? Meaning, where you were born? I mean, where you live? Uh, well, I... There is town not far from here. Not far from here? Where is that? Somewhere. Looks like she doesn't want to talk about it. Is Lena hiding something from me? It is explainable in the case of Olga, but in Lena's case? It is absolutely not like her. Is it a secret? No, just... So, is it somewhere in the soft too? I should have thought of something more original. Every single one of my sudden ideas turned out to the wrong way, and the attempt to play spy worked out even worse. And I thought about Souls just because the only pioneer cam camp of the Soviet Union I remember was Arctic. Yes! Lena has it lead to reply. I couldn't quite tell if uh, she was lying or not. Don't you like it there? I, I wonder what part of what I said make her think so. Absolutely not, I like this. My false uh, friendliness uh, sudden very innocent uh, getting under ears. What about you? I like it. It's so calm here. There are a lot of books in the library. Is that all what you care about? And the people are all nice. Nice, but not all of them. Why? Did I really say that uh, last bit out loud? Uh, turn out I did. Well, you know, Juliana, for, for example, she's like an energized battery with complete and balanced point of power appreciation. Battery? <laughs> what? Maybe I really was uh, sent back in time. Never mind. Or Alicia. <laughs> they say a pioneer as uh, the kid role model certainly doesn't describe her. If everyone starts following her example, it will be completely disaster for the country in 20 years or so. However, thinking about it now, you can draw the conclusion that everybody did follow the example of Felicia in the 80s where I probably am right now. Oh, <laughs> that was funny. She not like that actually. Not like that? Not like what? Not like what you said about her. To begin with, I hadn't said anything. I just said that the fact that she is not the best example to follow. 
Well, maybe. Sounds like you know her well enough. Probably. I asked uh, that question only to keep the conversation going and didn't expect uh, an answer like that. Alicia and Lena were so different, the idea that uh, they could be close uh, was unbelievable to me. We came from the same town. Wow! Really? You and Alicia from the same town? By the way, next girl will be Alicia because Alicia have like interesting story, I think. We came from the same town, as if uh, she had uh, foreseen my question. We have common friends, even though Alicia is one year older. Okay, it's a little bit strange. Oh, not like that. I, I'm just uh, surprised. Everyone gets surprised. <laughs> Lena smile a bit. I think the second book, uh, Anglam active, for uh, Anglam active, sure saline solution. Uh, okay. Lina always spoke in simple sentence. How can I c communicate with her if every day, every conversation turns into a monologue or just an awkward silence? I wasn't quite uh, satisfied with uh, such a state of things. Sometimes it looked like uh, she hide something behind her mask of shyness. But what? You know, I read a book uh, not that long ago. Uh, you really like science fiction? Not much. Damn, another failure. Well, if you don't like it, then what book do you like? Different kinds. Huh. The conversation wasn't going smoothly as I had in turn into all of the better. Yeah. Lena is one, uh, this kind of girl who hard to talk to because she like just answer with one or two words and like goodbye who know why but I thought about uh, the dance again feeling of uneasy disqualified and even shame overwhelming me one more once more uh, look like I am not that different from Lena when it comes to such thing I am shy and afraid of uh, things I don't understand or can't do. I should probably overcome my own fear before anything else. And this will help me to understand her better. I made up my mind. There are only a couple of boxes left. Yes? Hey, I got an idea. How about we go to the canteen afterward? I think the tape uh, recorder was taken back there. What is doing there in the canteen? I hesitated. What's for? Her silence uh, looked made it clear that she hadn't a slight idea what I'm going to offer. Well, frankly speaking, I just don't know how to dance. That's why I don't like it. Uh, that's the reason I was so confused back there. Maybe I could uh, th thank you by dancing with you? But I... She stopped uh, sorting out the uh, medicine for a moment, uh, blushed and looked right into my eyes. I get better supper. It really was a stupid idea. Like from all the 90 TV show for kids. It's, uh, it's okay if you don't want to. I don't insist. What if someone see us? I certainly didn't think about that. It's not a big uh, deal, but everybody is asleep already, and no one is going to go to the canteen at night. How will we get in there? I should have thought about it beforehand. Well, that moment I regret that I still didn't get uh, my cell phone from the cabin. Anyway, I had to say something to get away from the awkward topic. Hmm, what kind of music do you like? Different kinds. Oh, come on. I'm not really into it. Then, let's imagine that it's a playing now. I mean, that you? What we hear in play? Uh, how's that? 
It's like playing your head. I still remember the melody of a pioneer were dancing to. The music and the world were really clear in my memories. I'm not sure I can do it. Uh, you can just try. Probably. I get her uh, cost then. And Lena case, even that uh, probably can be considered yes. We silently sort of music uh, supply and the rest of the time, putting the name of Fukuanti, I should be more intention to every word I say after such luck. I stayed silent most of the time though. Soon, we finished the last box. Lena gave a felt less of a start to stare at her like uh, I saw Bigfoot riding in clean while jiggling Big Eagle. It was amazing, frightening, and above all, mesmerizing. She suddenly broke out laughing. <laughs> what? Uh, that look of you. What about it? It's just funny. Really? Yes. So, where are we going to go? Where? Her last word and settled me. I completely forget what we are was talking about. Well, frankly speaking, I had completely left this uh, world of a moment. Well, you know, to dance? Lena blushed right away and her face took a strange expression of shyness and easiness and fear. Oh, yes, sorry, I was just lost in thought. Let's go to the bear. I don't know why I chose that place. Maybe because you could run into why near at the square in the resident area or near the center, but not in the beer. That's what I thought at last. Or maybe because of the large bright moon reflection on the water at night. And it is full moon today. I don't know how, but this solution just offered itself. If you don't like it, then we can... No, that's really a nice place. Then I locked her door and made our way to the bear. Nightfall and sleep camp. Should we follow the road? Uh, why? It is uh, faster through the forest. There are nice path there. Well, there could be... Who? An owl? I left. Oh, you. A shadow of this uh, blaze across her face. Never mind, I'm sorry. If you want to... Okay. But can I? Oh, ooh! Oh, Lena, this is so close. This is that so so close. Without finishing, she grabbed into my arm. Is it okay with you? Yes. Now it was my turn to blush. Of course. We walked through the forest. It was hardly a forest though, more like a small grove between the camp and the bear, about a hundred meter long. I would never think of that will be anything to be afraid of, even my own. But it just seemed like Lena fear was uh, contagious. The bunch sway over us. I showed and Lena climbed on my arm even more strongly. Uh, don't be afraid, it must be a squirrel. Yeah. We reached the pearl. The night was really beautiful. I walked close to the river and called Lena. Uh, look, the bear, the water house, and the moon were reflection on the water. Beautiful, actually, this is a scene very beautiful. It looked like another world with the surface of the water being the door to Wonderland. You could just uh, jump and find yourself on the other side. May I have this dance? I sent my hand to her bower plumbly. Lena has it. Been. I must have overdid it uh, with my minimalism. There's nothing to fear. I'm not good at it either. Why either? <laughs> she never said she couldn't dance, so it will be kind of obvious. Okay, actually I am a very quite talented dancer. 
I'm a dancing queen, dancing queen. Okay. Oh. So, do we have like uh, this kind of picture with every girl? A similar pose with, where they're like dancing? Lena gave me her hand. I had her a bit aside and gently put my arms around her waist. We just stood like that for a few moments. And what next? Well, I don't know. Uh, do you remember the song? Barely, but I remember. Great. Let's wait like it's movies. How's that? Uh, instead of uh, uh, answering her, I uh, suddenly stayed to move in a circle with Lena. See? Nothing that hard at all. Yeah. We walked for several minutes, or whatever you could, uh, could call it. I felt her warm up through we've been not that close to each other. Her chest is heavily, heavily, and her face started to push it more and more. Lena didn't look at me, evering her eye from one side to another. I suddenly realized that I had never felt anything like this before. If it was a tenderness overtaking reality as if I found myself in another better world. I realized that I didn't want to let the, this girl go and that I would give up anything just to go on waltzing with her forever. I clasped Lena to tire and only then she did it. She looked uh, right at me. There was surprise and confusion in her eyes, but no fear whatever. She wasn't afraid of me and didn't uh, push me off away. And you said you can dance. I really can't. <laughs> That's not dancing. I was confused. I didn't expect that uh, reaction from her. Uh, where has uh, her confusion? Uh, shyness and fear disappear too. Uh, you too dance pretty well. I know. I believe I'll smile across her face, or maybe it just seems uh, so to me. No, I swear I saw it. Uh, how is that possible? The image of a shy and modest Lena didn't fit together with this moment at all. Actually, for me, I think it fits. What uh, should I say? What should I do next? I could only keep on watching over her in this dance, which was getting stranger with every passing minute. Simeon, Simeon, where are you? Oh, fuck you. But you party blooper. The voice came from the edge of the forest. Damn, worst time ever. Simeon? It was Olga. She must have been worrying because I could have been back a long time ago. I should have uh, guessed that uh, Trialis uh, camp leader would start uh, searching for lost pioneer. I should have found her beforehand. Oh, uh, there are no point of thinking about it now. Lena look at me questionably. Being seen together would be uh, not be the best thing. I mean, do you play Sylvia Root? Uh, yeah. Do you see what happened in the end? Yeah, it was awful idea. Let's go. Why? Let go and tell her what uh, everything was alright. No, let hide and attend to the camp later. Her idea was strange. Everything was going so well. At least something was starting to work out, or seem like it did. But what was that something? Okay then. I decided not to argue. I wasn't approached by such a situation. Olga should uh, for a while and left. Let go! Okay. Nina didn't grab into my arm on the way back. Hmm. I was a little bit uh, frustrated, but I wasn't certain enough uh, to take uh, the first step. We kept sons uh, aging. I, it was not typical of uh, Lena to start conversation. I and I just didn't know what to say after everything that happened at uh, the bear. 
She kept looking at the, the ground all the way back, keeping her usual expression. What a bizarre change, or to be more precise, what was bizarre was that a smile on Bear and Dina Wolf. <sighs> She stopped at the square. Well, well, I have to go. Okay, thank you for today. Yes. Lena turned around and headed to her cabin. Uh, I kept standing wh where I was. What the hell was that? That dance, that sudden change of the mood, then everything was back to normal. It was like I was embraced another Lena in the short moment. That right, she wasn't herself. She seemed a completely different person. Maybe I don't know her well enough. I had a feeling before that Lena hide something under her mask of shyness. It's just much longer than two days to understand someone. Damn, what should I do? Maybe I should just uh, see things. I walk into the later cabin. The whole camp was sleeping so there no one to see me. So what? What was wrong with Bionier taking a walk at night? When I was most at the door I heard a noise behind me. The bush, a bush, uh, someone moved there. And there should be any wild animal around here. Uh, been watching me. The, the very moment I rushed into the direction of the noise, for myself, look around. It was too dark and didn't see anyone or anything. It was no point of going on. Even if someone was watching me, he must have been going already. Uh, another uh, hand for the Seymour Road. I went back to the cabin. The light inside was on. I looked like she was slow. Oh, here you are. Simeon, where have you been? What do you mean where? Me and Lena were have been sorting medical supply in the infirmary. I told you before that I will do that in the evening. Uh, really? Where was that? I took long enough. I was in the infirmary about half an hour, an hour ago. It was closed and the lights were off. Well, we decided to have a little walk. I'm fretting about you while you were having a walk. Well, sorry. Uh, I'll let you know beforehand next time. Please do. Go to bed. It's too late. Can't help but argue with her. It was by any measure a hard day. I was too tired to think about the evening even event and doubtly won't have any decent thought. The main thing is that I have not a single idea how to react to all this. To Lena, to the camp, and the whole world. I particularly haven't spent even a minute looking for answers. Moreover, I've been avoiding it as it is the possible the discovery scared me. And Lena? The time I spent with her was much more important than all of my attempt to return to the real world. I felt worried myself for a long time, trying to understand what I did wrong and what uh, I didn't do at all. But the expression overcame me. Day 4. So I will end it here and see you guys uh, next time, okay? Goodbye!